What is up, everybody? Welcome to Stardew Valley. Today, I'm going to be playing a game, a little bit more of what I've been wanting to play lately. Uh, I've been playing a lot of, like, horror games, so I think that getting into something that's a little bit more relaxing would be, like, kind of fun. I don't know. I've ha I've, I have played this game before, but I have not gotten very far, as you can see. I will show you guys right here. So, I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to go back, and we're going to start a single-player world. I might consider turning this into a multiplayer series a little bit later, but for now, we're just going to stick to single-player, and then we're just going to go about it just like that. Oh, we get some storyline. Oh, snap. We got Grandpappy going to go night night for my very special grandson. Oh, Grandpa, you didn't have to. I want you to have this sealed envelope as I snooze here next to my pencil on the wall. Oh, thanks, Grandpa. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience, Sonny. Now listen close. Oh, there's Grandmama right there. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Why are you telling me all this while sleeping? And your bright spirit will fade before growing into emptiness. Oh, I just accidentally skipped it. Oh, crap. Well, let's just hope he didn't die there. Looks like we're taking the transit to the farm. Turns out I did get tired of modern life after all, huh? That didn't take too long. Oh, snap. We're going to Stardew Valley, baby. Oh, my God. It's a little bird. Holy crap. We're here, guys. What? <laughs> yeah, now I should probably explain myself, huh? Yeah, so I, I made Drake. <laughs> I made Drake. Just wait till you see what I named the farm. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way around your new home. He's there right now tidying things for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you follow me. I go zero to 100 real quick. Holy crap, it's a mess here. This is the studio farm. Holy, what the? Yeah, it's a mess. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's a good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. And here we are, your new home. Thanks, Robin. Oh my God, who is this old man in my house? Ah, new farmer! <laughs> He's like genuinely afraid. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. Dude, if the mayor was actually this loud, I would tell him to shut up. You know, everyone's been asking about you. Really now, I just got here. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Sure, Lewis. Sure, whatever you say, Lewis. I don't trust you for a second. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Yeah, I mean, honestly, kind of like you. Kind of like you. You don't got much longer, so. Rustic? That's one way to put it. <laughs> Krusty might be a little more apt, though. It's called my place Krusty. You just called Drake Studio Krusty. Rude! <laughs> Don't listen to her. Rapper Drake, she's just trying to make you dissatisfied, so you'll buy one of her house upgrades. Well, I mean, it's good marketing, so good for her. <laughs> yeah, he just called you out. Anyways, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. I just spit everywhere, all over my freaking monitor. The townspeople would appreciate that. Thanks, Lewis. Thank you, Mayor Lewis. You're a boss. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, place it in the box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it and maybe even look through your window. What? What? What do you mean look through my... Well, good luck. What do you... No. No, not good luck. Get out of here. Wake up! Oh my god, he wasn't kidding. He's outside. Holy crap, my Amazon Prime is here. <laughs> oh! Here's a little something to get you started. He came into my house while I was sleeping. So this is the game. Wow, I suppose I should get to clearing up some space for my for my crops, huh? Oh man, if there's one thing I freaking love about these kind of games, is you just go around and you just grind, and you just... You terrain the whole land to your liking, no matter what. You can change whatever you like, whenever you like, however you like, whyever you like, however you like, whenever you'd like, too. We're gonna start by chopping down some trees. 
I've been needing to play a game that's more chill and more apt to, you know, calm scenarios. I've been playing a lot of, uh, like, horror games lately, and it's it's making my brain turn to mush, uh, to be quite frank, to put it put it simply. Uh, so I've got brain mush going on. Brain rot, you could call it. And um, these kind of games really just settle me down, you know? Real, really settle me down in my jammies. It is currently Valentine's Day, and I had... I, yes, I have been spending the day with my girlfriend. I just figured I'd get some recording in because I need to post a video for you lovely audience members who may or may not be single on Valentine's Day. Put your hand up if you are. I'm not going to put my hand up because I'm not, you know. But, it, I mean, if you are, hey, that's cool. But um, we're just going to start off by... Clearing off as much space as we possibly can because I am not about to be living in a freaking wildlife backyard type scenario. So we're going to cut all this crap up, get it all settled out of the way, and we're going to begin our massive farm. Also, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see this game, too, because, like, this game, from what I've seen and from what I've played so far, is just fantastic. Like, I, I really thoroughly enjoyed this game so far. This game's awesome. So we're going to go ahead and start by going up over here and cutting up these plants and stuff. We got to get these out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, frog. He's like, oh my God, dude. This guy's swinging a pickaxe at my home. What do I do? Run the opposite direction. That's what you do. You freaking, you get the heck out of Dodge, Frog. Happy Valentine's, by the way, Frog. Sorry for taking your home from you, but uh, it's about me right now. It's not about you, buddy. And you're going to find out real fast what I mean by that. Holy crap, we have missions. Oh my god. Cultivate and harvest the plants that you got earlier. And you got to meet everybody around the town. So this is going to be great. Like, I, uh, I'm i so excited for this adventure with you guys. This is definitely a game that I could see going on for long term. Uh, or for however long I decide to continue the series. Really for however long it gets support, even though, like, you know... <laughs> I act like as if I actually get a lot of views, but in all honesty, let's be real here. We're not going to freaking kid ourselves. It's Valentine's Day. I'm just here to enjoy myself, and that's exactly what I intend to do. Alrighty, so I'm going to start by grabbing this hoe, and we're going to dig up some plots. That's right, baby girl. Oh, crap. I don't have any more space. Oh, there we go. Boom. Booyah. Chest. Yes. Place this right here. And booyah, sucka. Let's go ahead and put some stuff away, because I don't need any of this crap. Okay, so we're going to start by cutting up some plot here. Booyah, 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 and booyah. Get this, uh, get these here seeds. Yes, sir, ski. That's what I'm talking about. I love these games, man. It's definitely completely different from your norm game. Like, there's a lot of games out there that, yes, they do have this similar type of style. But the way that they use this style and the way that they, like, kind of made almost like a Terraria style, but they mixed it with, like, a more of a farmland type gameplay style, it's just fantastic. Looks like we only have two seeds left. I'm going to go ahead and booyah. Booyah! We're gonna plant those suckas right there. And now, I know I gotta go through and freaking water all of these so that they don't perish. And I am not trying to get fatigued because I'm pretty sure that has some negative effects on your health in this game. So we're gonna go ahead and sleep for the night. Alrighty, it's been a wonderful night's rest. We're going back outside and we're gonna go conquer the freaking world. Uh, although I did not get to water all the plants, so, you know, I kind of was not able to make all of them grow to that first phase, because as you can see, some of them are still seeds. I'm so ready for this game, dude. Oh, it looks like- oh, I got- I got mail! You got mail! Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierce got you covered. Stop by Pierce General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Wow. I mean, I'm convinced. Wow. You've got me convinced all the way, girl. Another mail? Oh, it's my boy, Willie. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Willie. I like how everybody acts like they know me already, and I just moved in. It's just fantastic. It's kind of like real life. So, I think I've made a decision, okay? Audience, I want to go into town. Holy crap, there's flowers. I'm pretty sure you can use these to, like, craft something. Or you can, like, sell them. I don't know. Either way, useful for me. Oh, yeah. We're going flower hunting, baby. Oh, this doesn't open up till 9. Okay, well, I need to go in there so I can get seeds. So I guess I'm just going to wait patiently. Should I freaking dig through his trash? Check this out. Oh, thank God he didn't see me. <laughs> just going around checking your trash, guys. Don't worry about it, though. Don't call the police. I just moved in. Like, if you guys call the police, I'll seriously find you. And I'll come inside your house. And I'll start rapping in front of you. So in case you guys haven't noticed already, I named my farm the studio. The studio farm. 
because my name's Rapper Drake. I just figured I'd let you guys know that before we continue on with this Let's Play. Holy crap, they're unlocked now. Let's go inside. It's Farmer Rapper Drake! It's him! I'm here to buy your entire stock of seeds. I guess we'll get a little bit of everything, huh? So we'll get some beans. We'll get two of those guys. We'll get a couple of these guys. And I'm broke. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to make another album. I've arrived back to my farm, and I'm ready to begin the process of expanding. Because I know that if I'm gonna want to make a lot of money fast, I gotta start planting now. I don't got no time to wait, no time to hesitate. Let's grab this watering can here. We gotta go through and water every single one of these so that they can grow nice and strong. I might come back to harvest them and sell them. It's definitely a good idea to at least try to clear out some more of this land, too, because... I know if I'm going to want to progress in this game, I'm going to need space to do so. I guess, like, my first objective is to, like, kind of see if I can go fishing or, like, go to the cave. Just going through and just destroying wildlife. Just kind of like how humans do on a regular basis. So we're just going to do that, except in a video game. It's not actually harming anybody. Nobody actually dies in the making of this video. While we wait for me to run out of energy, I am going to run down to the beach. I just shove him off the dock. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have me old fishing rod. It is important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once a while. Arg. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now. So come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you can catch. Yarg! If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what me old poppy used to say anyway. This game just makes me want to freaking pee into the ocean. No, that's just me. You've got it, Mambo Jambo. So we're gonna freaking play Fishing Simulator now. I'm gonna catch me some fish and probably sell them off and see how much they sell for. Oh, yeah. Dude, I wanna see what happens if you perfect it. Oh, there's a chest. Do I go for it? Screw it, we're going for the chest. Booyah. Oh my god, this fish is fighting me, dude. Oh my god, it's fighting me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we got it! Yay! Wait, so what did I get from that? Oh, ho. Oh, oh. Free? Literally free, dude. Dude, I'm so selling these. Booyah, 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 booyah. Dude, I'm not broke as a joke again. So fishing is like a really good way to like make quick, easy money. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get it perfect, get it perfect, get it perfect. Let's go! I think you get a special fish. Oh no, but you do get a lengthy fish, that's for sure. I got more energy, I got more energy. On the bright side, we can freaking end this off with a perfect fish. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Give me that! Oh, yeah. And we're ending it off with a record. Okay, so we made it back to the farm. I think what I'm going to do is we're definitely going to sell that. We'll keep these because those are going to be useful later on, I'm pretty sure. I think we're going to go ahead and call that a night, audience. Alrighty, guys, so what in the world was that noise? It sounded like there's. Oh, I noticed that you've been. That's good. Hold on, I gotta come up with a different voice for this guy. If you wanna get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Wow, I didn't know you sound like that, Clint. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Wow. Thanks, Clint. Thanks, homie. So, my, my dude just hooked me up with a free furnace uh, thing. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay. I'm headed home. Take it easy. Anyways, guys, I'm going to call that an episode today. I hope you guys have thoroughly enjoyed watching me play Stardew Valley. This game's freaking awesome so far. Like, I'm really enjoying it. We're already achieving all kinds of things. We just started the series. So if you guys want to see stuff like this, go ahead and leave a like down below. And let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a part two, three, four, five, six, maybe even a series. And I can continue it for you guys. Just depends on how you guys react to the actual series. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.